Hey guys, welcome back. So this is day four scanning on the advent of cyber 2022. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you guys are returning, thanks for the support. Welcome back. So please like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. And uh, let's get into the video. Let's just get cracking and starting this process. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. So here we are. This is day four for scanning. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this. So let's go ahead. I already booted up my machine. I'm at 10.10.70.229. So let's go ahead and see what's cool. Let me actually open up my attack box. Should have done that a few minutes ago, but I forgot to. I could have just VPNed in, but I'll wait for that to uh, start up. So the learning objectives for today is scanning. So scanning through the snow. So we have learning objectives. What is scanning, scanning types, scanning techniques, scanning tools. So what is scanning? Obviously, this is a procedure, or this is how you identify live host, ports, services, and also discovering operating systems on a target. Obviously, you can scan and, and identify vulnerabilities, threats in a network, all that good stuff. Different kinds of, uh, different kinds of uh, scanning is passive scanning and active scanning. So we have network scanning, we have port scanning, and you know obviously what we're looking for when we're scanning for ports is see if the port, the TCP port or the UDP port is open, and then you know from ports vary from zero to sixty-five thousand five hundred thirty-six, based on the type of service that's running. So you have a closed port, you have an open port, you have a filtered port, and you can read right here. You know, obviously, if it's closed, the host is not listening on a specific port. If it's open, it's accepting connections. If it's filtered, it might be, you know, blocked or, or firewalled or something like that. So then you have vulnerability scanning. You can scan your machines or you scan a host or a website or whatever for vulnerabilities and see if you can, you know, find threats and stuff like that. And common use tools from pen testers are like Nessus, there's Qualys, there's Tainable, I guess that's Nessus, um, OpenVos, there's a whole bunch of different tools, right? And obviously it identifies loopholes in the system. Let's go ahead and hit OK there. So yeah, obviously the scanning tool that we might be using today is Network Mapper, which is AKA NMAP. You guys should... Uh, Get very familiar with this tool if you're looking to get into pen testing or any kind of offensive security uh, career. So the first thing is we deploy, uh, deploy the virtual machine by clicking on machine. We already did that. And then, you know, we can start running recon against make red. So we start the attack box. This is what we're doing here. And we're going to go ahead and use nmap to see our uh, know from our target oh, from the, from the machine that we want to scan sorry actually i think i might be getting i don't know if i'm getting sick or something my nose has been stuffy so what we're going to do here is nmap dash sc dash sv whoops wrong sc jeez oh, sc dash sv okay sv and then what we're going to do is scan against my ip let's go ahead and get my target let's see if i can just copy this and can i just paste it i can do it like this nope all right so it's 10 dot 10 dot 70 dot 229 let that scan Okay, so let's keep going down. We have qda.santagift.shop. This is how you're gonna, you know, I guess we're gonna connect to this via SMB at some point. Let's go down to the questions. So 
what is the name of the HTTP service uh, server running on this remote host? So if we could probably look up at HTTP right here, it's open and it's running, looks like it's running Apache. Let's go ahead and throw that in here. Perfect, one for one. So what is the name of the service running on port 22 on a QA server? So port 22 is gonna be service SSH. So let's do SSH. Awesome, two for two. All right, so what is the flag found after successfully accessing the Samba service? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and just open up the, let's minimize this for a second. Go ahead and open up, let's just open up root home, that's fine. And what we're gonna do here is connect to the Samba, so SMB, okay? And then what is my IP address? Let's go back. Where's my... Uh, I don't know if I exit out. All right, so let's just go back here and just do this 10.10.70.229. Okay. All right, so we have admins, print, Samba share. Let's go ahead and do Samba share. All right, so. I believe it gave us a username and password down here, if I remember correctly, after reading. So we have Ubuntu and we have Santa 2022. Let's go ahead and go to registered user. Um, user is gonna be Ubuntu. And then the password in, my, in this case is gonna be Santa 2022. Okay, let's go ahead and hit connect. All right, we have a test. Let's click on this test. All right, nothing. So let's go back. Click on admins. All right, we have a flag.txt. Awesome. All right, so here it is. So let's copy this. See if we can hit this little guy. And clipboard. And let's see if we can paste it here. Perfect. Awesome. All right, we can clear that out. Go ahead and uh, clear that. So we're three for three. So what is the password for the username Santa HR? All right, so let's go ahead and close this out. User list, I would assume it's in here. So user the Santa HR. So it's gonna be Santa 25, Santa 25, perfect. So it looks like we are golden. Let's hit complete here. Awesome. Let's go ahead and terminate this machine. And we are good. So we just completed the scanning section. So this is day four, task number nine. So this is this was a pretty good one. So hopefully this guys, hopefully guys, this has been informative for you guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the description below. And if not, hopefully you enjoyed it. Many more days to come. So we're only on day four, so it's about what, 20 more days, 21 more days. So let's all enjoy. Thank you so much for checking it out. And until next time, have a good one.